Welcome back everyone to a slow day, a boring day, a arms race day. Most players already know the drill, so let's just jump straight in it to it. The most obvious thing that they've added is this lovely little boost for the uh, pay to progress players. Can't really win if you spend money though, let's be honest. I know a lot of I know a lot of free to play players can actually beat those that spend money on this game. But in saying that, you do have a great uh, variety of a selection <laughs> for this Sky Blessing. If you don't know the drill though, basically you need to buy these in a pyramid and then it eventually ends at the top tier. You do get a lot of stuff for it. I'm not going to lie in terms of just raw value. This package is the one of the better value packages in the game currently. The majority of players will understand why, because, you know, you do, you get a selection chest of everything that is relevant. Um, and it has all been updated to the most, uh, I guess, uh, current would be the word. Current selection chests, including, of course, a separate selection chest. So not only are you going to be able to get and build a lot of your tactics, you are going to be able to also work on, say... Old mate over here, getting him start up if you haven't already got him there. Uh, building him and starting him up would be a very, very good idea. Uh, but of course, of course, we can't really talk about it without talking about it in conjunction with Arm Trace itself. You know the drill. Be in a legion, be active, and basically do your missions. The first person to get on the leaderboard secures the bag. So if you are, for instance, at 588 troops and... You get there before the other guy that gets the 588 troops, for argument's sake, just a round number. You win. So, it is all about who gets there first. It doesn't really matter about any of the other stuff. I will say, though, that um, in terms of just the rewards, it is certainly worthwhile spending on the dollar packages if you are a light spender. Uh, a lot of players will be able to get uh, the last package here for free. So you will be actually able to get some gold merits. And gold merits are very important. So if you're a medium spender for the majority of the events, um, you will get into the top three brackets. You don't really need to whale very hard unless, of course, you're in a very aggressive um, legion, which actually our legion has picked up in terms of spenders, which is great. We actually have a couple of spenders coming in now, which is good. Um, because we were a little bit stale before. Let's be honest, there wasn't too much to spend on this game. Well, there was a lot to spend in this game, but there wasn't really anything worthwhile in terms of just throwing out hundreds of dollars. That's changed with Family Fest and everything else that's come around. Now, across server, if you do spend uh, well, about $500, give or take, you will get onto the cross server event. And this one gives you the nether feathers, which are the premium type of feathers for your wing development. Um, most players already understand the concepts of this. So what I would recommend though is, um, you know, make sure you get on the leaderboard. <laughs> I think, I feel like that's probably the most important thing that I can ever say about the arms race is don't be lazy, get on the leaderboard. There's a lot of stuff you can buy as well. Make sure you're getting your uh, 50 flags for 5k gold. Don't buy anything else there for gold uh, unless you're really, really stuck with the Stark Armor. It is worth spending gold to finish the index off um, or to unlock everything. Sometimes I think that that is something that we overlook, but it is very important to get some of those Stark Armors for that event. But in general, most of the free-to-play players will have amassed some of these things. I am going to spend my silver and bronze on these ones i need accessory stones i need accessory stones for this account so i'm going to be spending it on those ones throughout the event um but in saying that they have added the uh halberd sky piercer to the uh rotation so if you are looking to upgrade that or build that first off uh congratulations go ahead and pull some of those ones out pretty stock standard unfortunately no Generation 5 charms, which sucks. It sucks. PB says it sucks, so it sucks. And it's not in a good way. I want my Generation 5 charm, my combo charm, so that I can uh, do some awesome damage. I imagine eventually that will be there. 
I also imagine eventually that they'll put the G2 Mythics in here as well if you are looking to build those ones, if you don't get lucky in the Star Wish event. Um, congratulations to those that did get lucky in the Star Wish event. I wish I got lucky. <laughs> I wish I freaking got lucky. I did not. But there's always the next time, right? And of course, if you are still close to building Fire Daddy, I would recommend going with that. But most, most players are just going to get as many Generation 5 shards as humanly possible. Um, it's very odd. It's very odd that they haven't done a uh, Gen 5 limited hero pools yet. But they've seemed to have given us like um, at least two weeks now. Of arms race with the gen 5s in it i can speculate that that means that they will have a limited time here as pull with the generation 5 at least once before they do the gen 6 um pull but they they seem to have like switched it up and that could be because the community was saying hey we want to make some progress um and we all know limited time pulls can be absolutely bullshit like <laughs> you can you can do 120 and not get like enough shards basically to um get past two star so i think they've kind of given us a little bit of a topsy-turvy balance to it if that makes sense am i happy about it i'd like if they did both at the same time i'm not like i'm a greedy person when it comes to that i definitely think they should be doing that um, but they're not, so that sucks. But in terms of this, value packages, I mean, they're pretty good. Look, um, if you need some additional, uh, basically, these things, I'm just calling flags. Gold flags, drums, and horns. I would recommend getting those ones. Um, ultimately, though, there is a thing that came back, which is very, very good for those that want to spend. Um, the total recharge rebate has returned. So if you are uh, thinking about being a light to medium spend up, there is some opportunities for you to get even further on the leaderboard. Uh, but mainly it just means you can get like extra gold merit badges. So I think this is going to separate the spenders from the non-spenders this time around. Uh, which kind of sucks, but at the same time, they didn't have it last time, so it was a little bit more fair, I guess, quote unquote, fair, right? But they do have this one, so if you are looking to spend a little bit of money, you will be able to get some additional rewards. And honestly, I mean, if you're going to spend anything, I, I, I probably would go for this. I wouldn't even go for the arms race, because realistically, in arms race, what do you need? You only really need the um, shards for... Basically, your Gen 5 shards, right? Let's give this guy a whirl. Let's see just how much he uh, kicks me <laughs> and the booty. Uh, of course, it's a way nation, which is quite of um, very unique. Very unique. I'd say he's got... Uh, oh, he's, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, he didn't quite one-shot my entire team. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, I'm not, I'm not complaining. <laughs> but I'm, I'm a little bit surprised he didn't one-shot my entire team. Well, we're not going to do any damage, are we? No, we're just going to die now. But it's fine. It's fine. Can we can we kill one of their team members? Probably not. Let's skip ahead. No, nah, not happening. All right, you can have that one. That's fine. You know, every now and then you got to test yourself against uh, the stronger players, right? Uh, but in saying that, Starlight Wish ended. Hopefully, it all went very well. I did not secure the bag there. Unfortunately, big sad. I reckon there are some... Uh, I'm going to speculate and say that there's probably some um, hidden uh, percentages in the in the Star Wish, um, depending on which one of your bloody pick. I reckon you got more chance of getting a weapon or a hero than you are getting the beasts, is my opinion. Anyway... I can't prove that. It's all speculation. Is there anything else in PB's bag that we need to pull out and talk about? Not really. I feel like this game has um, kind of run its course and we're all just sort of waiting for the God Tier heroes to arrive. It is going to be an interesting little bit of an endeavor when it does arrive though because I imagine that's when um, things will start to shake up a little bit. Dal Chan will be taken out of retirement and I think I'll be replacing uh, Lee Lun Kui with her. So that's going to be pretty spicy. She's going to be quite expensive. So my advice is if you haven't already spent on your gold merits, um, go ahead, grab out, finish off your heroes. I would say that that's going to be very, very important. How many can we get of that? We can get 25. So you can get 25 as a free-to-play player. 
which isn't actually too bad when you think about it in terms of like the long haul or the longevity of it we got 106 if i didn't spend anything else what could i possibly get 106 how many of these things do i need i need 140 all right so we're going to grab the rest of you out i do have you but you also have selection chests, and I wouldn't mind getting you to one star, so maybe I'll save you. We'll see how close we get to the end of the event. I imagine that I'll get within the top five anyway, which is quite nice. But let me know in the comment section down below, what rank did you get your Generation 5 hero to? I think by the end of the event, I will get him up to probably five star minimum. Minimum five star. Maximum six um, without spending too much money, like probably 20 bucks, I'll get him to six star. Um, otherwise I'll just sit on five star. It really doesn't really bother me that much because I mean, everybody else is kind of ranked up, isn't there? The only one that I'm missing realistically mm -hmm. that I'm going to keep is befuddling UG. I just need to get him up to, uh, I just got to get him to seven star, which I feel like most people already know this, but chip away at it, chip away at it. Grab these ones out for crystals. Yeah, I know they're a little bit expensive, but the game is giving you a lot of crystals as well. So chip away at things like that. I feel like that's probably my only advice, particularly because the, you know anything under Generation 4 is a little bit obsolete. You just want to get them up to 7 star for the index anyway. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit me up in the comment section down below. Join us in the description field in our Discord Um almost at 400 no yeah over 450 over 450 we want to get to 500 we want to keep growing that as well try to be a little bit more active and do some live streaming throughout the rest of the month um and of course if you do see me on facebook don't be afraid to add me as a friend and say hello there but until next time